show you how to make a Sunday cupcake cone. You're going to need just a few ingredients. You're going to need to have your cupcake holder, the little liners, Sunday cones, a cake mix, icing, and sprinkles, ready whip, and a cherry for the top because every Sunday needs a cherry. So first of all, you prepare your, your cake mix just like you would according to the box. And after that, you're going to pour the batter into each Sunday cone. But just you're going to just pour it right, mine are already made up ahead of time, but you're going to pour them just a little bit below the top because it will expand in cooking. Then you're going to place it on top of the baking cup. And I, uh, you know, if you have all 12 here, you place them in and then the batter and the cone goes in the oven just like that. Be very a little bit careful so that they don't tip going into the oven. And they're probably going to take about 15 minutes, but check them. A cupcakes take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, but check to see um, to make sure they are done. After that, let them cool completely. After they've cooled, you're going to take your sundae cone and you're going to put your icing on. Now you can use chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, whatever you want. Whatever your children like, whatever your family likes. And you're going to icing all around the cupcake. Doesn't have to be pretty, just to kind of coat it. And then you want to coat all on that first level of the cone, because that's where our sprinkles are going to stick to, to be our sundae. Everybody likes sprinkles on their sundae. Most kids love to do this, so this might be a nice little treat. Might be a little messy, but they will enjoy it and then they get to eat it afterwards. And you just coat it all around, make it nice and smooth. Just like that. And then get your dish of sprinkles. I'm using little chocolate sprinkles today. Then you're just going to gently pat the sides with your chocolate sprinkles. All the way around, coating it so the sundae cone is completely covered with your sprinkles or whatever sprinkles you want to use. Today I'm using the little chocolate sprinkles. And there you have your chocolate sprinkled sundae cone. But one thing you do need to remember when you put your ready whip on, you got to be ready to serve it because it will not stay, it will melt. So then you can make these cones ahead of time. And then right before you want to serve, you want to shake up your ready whip and just put a nice little top of wedding rip on top there. And place your cherry and there you have cupcake sundae cone.